What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. I'm looking at the finished product right here and you guys will soon see our finished Silverado as well. If you guys want me to keep this truck and build on the channel and here for the long run after you see it completed because man it looks good. Please shoot this video a thumbs up and comment down below. It really, really helps me out. Without further ado, I want to say thank you guys for your support. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey on our 2004 Silverado. What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel as you can see here walking through my sea of green and by the intro to this video we've added some maroon. I honestly don't even know the factory factory color and the name of this uh, but it's maroon and you're looking at me like I'm stupid. All you do is have green vehicles why'd you buy maroon well first things first i'm gonna get this out of the way this will be painted green yes i said painted no wrap here we're painting this guy here we have my 2004 chevy silverado 1500 now you're looking at me like hellcat sema cummins looking at me all funny like 1500 well, let's hop in the cab of this and I'll explain some things. Here is my gem. This thing is just mint. Look at this. Cab corners. I could kick them out. Rockers. Same thing. Honestly, mostly surprised. Although the foam is kind of worn down here. The seat has not ripped yet. So, very impressed by that. Headliner. Mint. Not falling off completely. Extra mint on this side. Once I roll it down, you can see a super mint over there might as well just take razor blades and cut uh you know artwork out of that tint now that makes no sense i don't even know why there are two squares perfectly missing out of uh that window tint d badge and leave the residue no problem this is probably my favorite look at this pap cap sort of pap cap half pap cap oh is this thing heavy first of all so much room in this eight foot bed for activities but it doesn't latch Super mint. This is my favorite part, boys. No fob at all. Just the key and a key with a fuel cap. Let's turn. Oh, yeah. Also mint. Speakers that are completely like blown out. Buckle seatbelt. Thank you. Hour meter, 5,000 hours. What else we got here? Odometer, 159,540 miles. So this thing should just be uh, able to be picked up and taken off now. <gasps> it worked. We got the four by six pioneers and we also have the uh, six and a half, six and three quarter pioneers as well. Uh. 482 dollars um, in parts, so less than 500 bucks. Zero dollars in labor because I'm doing it myself. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. 
enjoy this color. Seriously, look at the factory maroon compared to this. This just looks so good. It's just, just gonna be a unique Silverado. Nothing, and that's the best part. This, this truck was 5,000 bucks. A lot of people were like, oh, you overpaid down here in the south. Is They're cheap. The problem is four-wheel drives in a place where you need four-wheel drives in the winter, the value is much higher. Oh, my God, guys. Yeah, all buffed out. This paint is just going to look phenomenal. I cannot wait. Makes me miss my Jeep, really. Um, I do want to pick one of those up here soon. so we can make this custom.
essential people can be working right now, guess what? Only the essential metal is left on this bumper. Any of the excess little fancy like grooves and dips and like excess metal that got in the way, well it's gone now. Aha, guys, look at us. Our bumper's on, and if you know something funny here, what do we got working over here? What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. Today is hopefully the last day we need to work on this truck and we can get everything all buttoned up on it. Right now it's about 7.17 in the morning and we are going to head over and get this truck aligned. Um, however, I kind of want to sit there and crank the keys down just a bit because this thing bounces all the way down the road and I do not want to... Uh, continue riding like that I mean I I don't want to sit there and bounce 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 I mean the rough country shocks in the last video really really helped us out really softens that bounce but it's still quite bouncy so I do want to see if I could crank them down just a bit or a few notches and then the offset on our wheels over here we will have to do some trimming a little bit later Just under 39 inches here. 39 inches is technically 3 inches of lift from what our original measurement was. is about 36. So the other side's at 39 and a half. I just remeasured, and this side's just under 39 and a half. So I'm going to give it that half inch of crank, and we should be good over here. I no matter how much I crank the keys, the adjustment can't like show up. It's like staying the same height, but. Hopefully the ride is softer. Uh, next thing, because the BMVs are closed and this thing's been in pieces so long, I never got this thing registered. So, um, we don't have a plate. We don't. So, oops, that sucks. Katie's gonna drive behind me and hide the fact I don't have a plate, but, um, <laughs> So I can tell you the ride, it rides a little softer with the keys uncranked, but it still rides freaking a little bumpy. But I remember this pedal being super touchy when I drove it back in like January. I do remember it being touchy, but it rides a whole lot better on completely cranked like that. And with our new Rough Country shocks up front, that is for sure. Wow, this thing has not seen the roads in so long. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, guys. <laughs> I love it. I just absolutely love it. Wow. We are so close to the alignment place. It's right over there. <laughs> we made it so far. We made it so far. Oh, guys. Okay. We made it. We made it with no plate. So that's super awesome. But I'm still super tired. So I'm going to go home. I need to knock out a couple of the decals and stuff on the back of this. So when we get it back today, we can put the wheels on and finish her up. Guys, legitimately the fastest, fastest alignment I've ever had. <laughs> I literally took it in and by the time I got home and started doing something else, they called me and said it was done. So that was awesome. The truck's aligned. That's super awesome. We can get our wheels and tires on here now. Uh, I was working on the, the, the decals and stickers for the truck. So I'm going to finish those, come outside and uh, put everything on. I feel like the other people with cat eye Chevys are looking at me all weird because mine's totally purple and they're probably like jealous look at that that's so funny oh my goodness <laughs> i have had a couple people in cat eye chevys like turn their heads because probably haven't seen this color before which is also probably true but super fun uh, but this is like the ultimate thing we got our purple chevy and then katie's driving behind us in the hellcat chase like chase car Oh, the people on the road are probably like, oh, look, purple, oh, green. Wait, those colors would look good together. Only if we had, <laughs> only if we had my truck, too. That'd be funny. Like, you know, purple, green. Like, oh, crap, both of them together? Unreal. 
Oh my god, these colors do look good together though. On the road, parked next to each other. Oh, it's great. This thing is actually driving great, especially after the alignment. Honestly, it almost rides a little bit softer too. I could, couldn't tell you why, but oh, it feels great. And it's fun. Well, look at that. Ohio, baby, 71. But uh, the prop driving this back, I was actually enjoying it. I was like, wow, this is great. This is fun. This is enjoyable. Like a little regular cab, long box, you know, having a good time. Like this truck is fun. It's not perfect. It's an old truck, like, but it's fun. And that's what's just awesome it's crazy we've come like full circle just to get back here and we're finally like done with it that's awesome now that we're back home i need to do some measurements uh, i want to as dumb as this sounds i do like the 07 kind of chevrolet across the tailgate kind of trying to decide whether i use matte black or i use silver silver would be cleaner black would be meaner so i don't know yet but i need to measure this Well, honestly, to copy the factory kind of look, four foot by four inches is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, also, note on the tailgate bezel handle, um, I should order a new one, but it's almost like iconic to not have it on this body style truck. But I, I'll think about getting a new one real quick, but I, I don't know yet. Other than that, four by four decals. I mean, I remember these things were pretty freaking large. I'll see if there's any dimensions online, but almost like they were almost probably 10 inches wide. I had something special kind of uh, like in the back of my mind for those 4x4 decals. I don't know though, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. So I'm up here messing with a few things between, you know, silver. This is actually awesome. It's like metallic silver. I'll probably throw this vinyl on the website, not these, unless you guys want these for some reason these Chevrolet things but um I'm messing around with some things here trying to make some custom uh, of the 4x4 decals and I think I have it down um, Katie and I decided on a color scheme and we're gonna cut it and print it right now and uh, we can get them on the truck multicolored like sticker it's kind of a pain but um i printed the silver and i gotta print the black and i gotta print our uh, special color for our x As you guys can see, we printed all of our um, partner stickers along with our Chevrolet for the tailgate. This one was interesting. I completely forgot I needed to print this. So I had to print it horizontally instead of like lengthwise on the vinyl cutter. That's why it's in three pieces. But yes, it does say Everolet Ch. And we're gonna go through, clean off the area for the four x four, put the Chevrolet on the tailgate. Then I do need to do some buffing on the bottom half of that door to get a couple scratches out before we put stickers on it. So we're gonna do that. And then once we get it all stickered and decaled, uh, we can get our wheels and tires on, and this build will be 
pretty much done honestly pretty much done i wanted to put the flares on i don't know if i will i'll see how far the tires stick out and kind of go from there but oh is this gonna look good Well, I didn't expect it to look that good. To be honest, in my head, I was visualizing it. And it I didn't realize it would look this good with our new 4x4 sticker. Hint of the lime green. Hopefully, you guys catch my vibe on that. But hint of the lime green on our custom 4x4 sticker and also our Chevrolet on the tailgate. As you can see, I mean, I custom made them both on our vinyl uh, cutter. But, wow, those look so good together. Honestly, really completes the rear end of this truck. So I absolutely love the placement I have of my stickers on um, my Ram over here. I absolutely love, love that. So I think I'm going to continue that onto our Silverado here and run them on the bottom half of the door right here. Only problem is um, there's a couple scratches that need buffed out at the bottom. So I'm going to run through that and we'll get our stickers. Um, have applied all of our I guess decals to this truck now um looking at it looking at it it does look good now with this I kind of want a bedside decal but until my like more silver vinyl comes in that may be added after the fact however right now she is looking rather good I love those really pulls it all together oh she's looking sharp so guys the moment you have all been waiting for since i bought this truck the finale the finish the completion of this transformation from an old farm i'm guessing it was a farm truck uh of some sort or, or something because of the amount of straw and hay and just just dirt and stuff i found in here I'm just guessing whoever had this used it on his farm or ranch or whatever just the amount of stuff I found inside the cab and in the bed underneath the bed liner I'm just guessing this was a farm truck straight work truck of some sort but we are finally here to complete the transformation of this farm truck into something amazing so before we put these wheels and tires on i just want to say thank you all for your support during this entire build and i know it took a lot longer than expected but in five months we turned something that was not the best looking rusted out just not pretty and turned it into something amazing tuned uh new exhaust short tube headers cleaned up the frame we did so much to this truck to transform it and here we are so i just want to say thank you guys for all your support during this and sit back and enjoy the final result <laughs>
guys, there you have it. After a long, long anticipated journey, here we are. Our 2004 Silverado is complete. Now, as you guys heard me say at the beginning of this video, if, if you honestly want me to keep this bad boy on the channel, please shoot this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, more interaction gets me to a wider audience which will allow me to keep this baby on the channel for a lot longer. And trust me, I want to. This thing looks so good and turned out absolutely amazing. Um, wow. Sure, it's been like five months or so, but man, she turned out awesome. Honestly, just beyond spectacular. And oh, I love it. Love it all. I love our Chevrolet on the tailgate. Obviously, you guys know I left the uh, the iconic missing bezel and our spoiler is off. But we can always put those on in the next couple days when I get the parts in and such. But um, our 20 by 10 fuel vandal wheels look killer on this truck. And these Federal uh, Caraja MTs, honestly, 331250 ride super smooth i took this thing for a spin and i honestly cannot say better things about this entire setup boost auto parts mirrors looking sharp our ebay headlights looking sharp same thing with the ebay tail lights so truly it's amazing what you could turn an old maroon farm truck work truck into something this spectacular I am truthfully blown away at how good this thing looks and honestly just super excited that we are finally, finally, I would say pretty much done. There's a couple things here and there, you know, we could touch up, do some things, headliner, tailgate bezel. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Uh, not only this build, I know a lot of you came in halfway through on this build. Some of you guys watched the whole thing. Some of you guys just caught the end of this. Some of you guys are new to the channel now watching this exact video. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Um, and I know some of you came and you've seen this whole build. You guys have been here for the Hellcat. Um, I know a lot of you have been here for a long time. And the best part about it is I know a lot of you are still here from when I had my Volkswagen Jetta. So mad respect to you guys and thank you guys for coming back uh, consistently for some content here. As you can see, that passion purple is just sparkling. Um, all washed up, polished up. And... Uh, matched with our black wheels now i know a lot of you were like oh do reverse of the cummins and to be honest purple is a very interesting color uh obviously you guys know my torsion keys are green and i added a little bit of our uh, lime green accent here on our bed with our four by four sticker taking a dark color and throwing very bright colors underneath is quite difficult to pull off. Now I'm telling you like a black truck uh, with any color underneath looks good because obviously it's black but a dark not like I guess standard neutral color is quite hard to pull off reverse. Um, but this obviously the lime green and purple that we pulled off super well. I love how this turned out. And honestly, I love how this turned out. Back to the roots of just, you know, a nice color and some nice, simple wheels. This build, you know, I will go over the entire build cost on this in another video. But it's a lot less than you guys think from where we started to where we are now. We got a couple videos coming up on, obviously, our Silverado. We got a lot coming up on our Ram, some on our Hellcat. Um, we got lots of stuff coming. But like I said, guys, if you want me to keep this on my channel, obviously, um, there's very limited room in a driveway like this to park a big truck, a semi-big truck, a Hellcat. Well, that's Katie's F-150. Her 6.0 is, her 6.0 is parked at a family friend's house right now because her driveway is quite Height. If you guys want me to keep this on the channel, like I said, driveway space is limited. But if you want me to keep this on the channel, shoot this video a thumbs up and please comment down below. You guys already know I've been walking around outside in awe over this thing for the longest time. It looks so, so good. Well, I just want to say five months. You know, I got photos on my phone from January-ish first. We're taking the bed off 
in the garage here and obviously you guys have seen the garage transform gone into we got the toolbox we did you know added a bunch of things took a bunch of things out and now we got a mess we will be doing a garage rehab here soon trust me uh, we'll be cleaning that up very very shortly you know if you guys don't want me to keep this on the channel we will sell it and we will move on to the next thing but i can tell you that this this is an awesome little truck to drive around town in. Um, super awesome. There's a couple things. I think it needs a couple sensors and stuff under the hood. Just little things here and there to get this thing running like tip top shape. But, you know, like I said, I drove it. Drives great, rides great uh, with our Rough Country shocks, our Belltech suspension. Um, Belltech shocks, Bell shocks in the rear. Um, I'm going to take a quick second to thank a bunch of our trucks. Uh, sponsors and you know supporters of this build obviously you guys know lifted co get to the website get yourself entered to win a set of wheels uh, Yeti cooler or a mini fridge get yourself entered to win uh, but also thank you to banks power for hooking us up with so much on this truck obviously our short tube headers our monster exhaust cold air intake tuner Eastwood Oh my gosh, Eastwood helped us out so much on this truck. Uh, Eastwood, guys, they hooked us up with so much. And obviously, you guys, all the discount codes for the companies we work with are in the description below. That's my point in these builds is I want to work with companies that don't, that, forget me. I don't care if they work with me. I want them to work with you guys. So obviously, there was, we had that uh, uh, Banks Power discount code for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get you guys another one. Uh, Eastwood discount code, um, Boost Auto Parts discount code, Raptor Liner, we don't have a discount code, but uh, like I said, working, working with them. But I would love to work with some of these companies, get you guys a code if we can. Um, but Eastwood, like back to that, they hooked us up with a lot of stuff. Um, all of our frame, paint, and restoration stuff, our Eastwood welder, uh, welding mask, Ah, what else? Our Contour SCT that helped us out with a lot of the body work, the frame, the bed, uh, all of that. Eastwood has so much stuff for any of your restoration projects. Uh, they can get you guys looking right. Um, they also have different auto paints and stuff if you guys want to pick any of the colors on their site. Uh, yeah, um, Belltech, very well known in the lowering, lowering department, but they are just now getting into lifts. So, uh, new Silverado, new Jeep. Ben, if you saw that video, we put a 4-inch Belltech on his Jeep. Uh, Belltech is getting into the lifted game. So, obviously, this is their 3-inch um, uh, lift for this truck. So, Belltech, obviously, uh, like I said, bringing you guys to the new world of new products, stuff like that. Boost Auto Parts, guys. Unreal mirrors. Obviously, LED running lights, switchbacks, um, paintable caps. Turn signals, reverse lights, Boost Auto Parts has all of your tow mirror and just whatever needs. I believe there's a discount code in the description. If not, it's definitely a few videos back. I will check. And obviously, finishing this out, obviously we used a lot of parts from a lot of different companies. Uh, eBay headlights, eBay tails, stuff like that. Paint from the coating store. Uh, um, Amazon LED license plate lights and obviously vinyl of our own but uh raptor liner guys the best diy bed liner kit you can get we tinted it purple um you guys seen us put a bed liner in katie's f-150 uh standard black you can do black you can do tinted uh raptor liner has all your diy bed liner needs turns out similar if not better than an oem factory bed liner so uh check out raptor liner too guys just this has been a long process to get us here and i am so thankful we have finally achieved a completed product um if you guys enjoyed this build series shoot this video a thumbs up if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe thank you guys for your support on this because it beat me up for five months you guys saw the videos you saw my exhaustion it beat me up and we are finally here. If you guys enjoy the Silverado, please let me know in the comments down below. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video and on to our next build here soon. See you guys.